So I'm going to start a little experiment today. So what it is, is that I simply have uh, a lot of old seeds that I don't want to just throw out. And so I mean, could just literally throw them out as cover crop. And I haven't done that. Instead, I was thinking to possibly use them, but I didn't want to spend much time. So I have my thermal mass of potting soil here. In a previous video, which I will link in the descriptions, I showed uh, why I have this pile of dirt, this rather large pile, and the sun hits it every day and it absorbs heat and radiates it during the nights to help keep it warm in the little greenhouse here. What I'm going to do uh, on the side here is use this possibly as a little germination station. Um, just putting some rows of uh, old seeds on this on top of the surface of this mound of potting mix and hopefully the extra warmth that it holds will be in, enough to germinate some seeds. So far I already did a little row of broccoli right there. Okay so here are the seeds that I have. Uh, oh, these are old seeds that I'm trying this little germination experiment with. The uh, Ping Tung Long eggplants, uh, these are 2021, so almost three years old. And the kale is the oldest of all here, it has a little bit of red Russian kale left over from uh, 2020. 2020, so four year old seed almost. So that'll be interesting to see if it'll germinate. I'll be surprised. So these are mostly cold season plants. So they should be good to plant in the early spring. It's only December right now. And January and sometimes February are the coldest months of the uh, winter for us. Mm. Okay, that'll be good enough for now. Okay, so for this uh, sewing, I'm just gonna push in a little uh, trench with my fingers. And because these are old seeds, I'm going to very heavily sew in this little trench. These are the kale, they're the oldest. And I think I'm just going to go ahead and put the rest of them in there you can see it's hundreds of seeds right there probably but so i'm just going to sprinkle them on in there this uh, reminds me of microgreens is how thickly i'm going to sow them in here that's all those seeds sown in there microgreen style and then i'm just going to put a tiny little bit of soil on top of them and the purpose of the soil on top is of course to mainly hold in the moisture a little bit better around the seeds to help them to germinate and I guess it'll also hold in a little bit a little bit more heat around the seeds as well and I put my marker at the end of the row here and I'm going to do the rest of the seeds likewise the same way here. These are my mustards. The mustards are not too old so these seeds I suspect will germinate pretty successfully so I'm not going to sew them super thick. Very slightly cover them up. There's a tag on the end of the row. Next is my bok choy and the rest of the sprouts that I don't pot up will probably just turn into some microgreens for my chickens. And one of the problems though with sewing them real thick when you do this is that the roots can get will get tangled up very quickly after they sprout. So you gotta pull out the little seedlings sooner than later if you wanna be able to pot up single seedlings or something close to single seedlings very easily. Uh, I don't know if you can see the seeds very well, but you can see how thickly I sowed them. And now for the last two is the basil, which I only have a tiny amount of seeds of the basil left here. The basil is by far the most frost sensitive and I don't know how easily it will germinate in cooler temperatures. Two-year-old seed. Put it on my little labels here. And 
basil. Alright, and now for the watering. Alright, so that's the start of the experiment, but hopefully in about a week or so I can show you guys a whole bunch of germinated seedlings that I will start to transplant into little pots. You can see the basil sprouting right along here, and this is uh, the kale all back here. Oh, and let me just say, if you uh, enjoy my videos, get anything helpful out of them, please do like and subscribe. Thanks. Okay, you want to give a thumbs up? Wait a second, you got to get lower so they can see you smiling. See, see where the camera is right here? Mm.